Welcome back to Pokemon. It is time for another draft round. This is the encounters on uh, Desert Resort in Route 4 and whatnot before we go to gym number 4. Ooh, and Garrett has first pick. Ooh. Jeez. I, I would be okay with most of this pool, actually. That is... We know you want Mime Jr. I may want Mime Jr. I'll take Timber. All right. Good pick. If it had fallen to me, which I wouldn't think it would, uh, I would have taken Timber over any of the Psychic ones. Well, I've already got Psychic. Man, this is this is an interesting one. <laughs> I mean, it's the first good pool we've got so far. Pretty much. It's still pretty weak. Hmm. Torn between two. I think they're both pretty similar kind of mid-tier. Hmm. Isn't Minchino one of your encorers? Oh, probably. But I'm also already sitting on a normal type, so it's less valuable. I just saw a small hitch in your stream, but other than that, it looks good. All right. Well, I'll take small hitches at this point. Oh, shit. I think... Hmm... Fight the electric gym next. Let me look some stuff up. Let me look some stuff up. Just take the sand shoe. Who doesn't love sand shoe? Come on. Oh, that, that guy who whipped his Sanju wasn't a big fan, I imagine. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> I think I remember that from the anime. It was like a... Kind of like a beast tamer trainer class thing. Like, well, no, a circus thing if I remember right, but... I want to say that was in like the first 20 episodes at least, if not earlier. Oh yeah, it was really early. Wasn't that also like one of those episodes around that same time in the Japanese version? This guy pulled a gun on Ash, <laughs> and it was cut out. No, that's way later. That was Savari Zone. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. Twenty-two. Uh, Does anybody else have ground types so far? Um, no. I am heavy on water and bug and flying and grass. Yeah, okay. But, so uh, I picked Sandshrew. Okay. I've got to think for a little bit. Just a little bit, though. It's between the two for me. Between well, you, my you junior and steel. Two picks, so... Oh, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I'll take my junior and seal then. All right. Hmm. That actually leaves me with a tough one there. Take that down. Desert Resort, Grass Cave. These are all, or no, not all Desert Resort, Grass Cave, but. What? Hmm. Do I want to try and use an Alakazam? in set mode in black too is a uh, teleport going to be off of his list uh no because it's an abra so it just doesn't have a learn set right beyond teleport oh yeah yeah that's actually a, something to think about too because it's probably gonna be 
like 20 or something, right? Probably. Yeah, that was my thought process with, uh... Well, I mean, I like Mr. Mime better anyway, but, um... He's pretty much a sure catch rather than Deabra, which would be tough to catch if it has teleport. Yeah, so if Kadabra... Kadabra's gonna be probably past... Or Deabra's gonna be probably past 16, which is when it learns Confusion. Kadabra doesn't learn another attack until 28. That's pretty rough. It does learn Psychic in this game, though. I'm not sure I can justify that. Uh, let's do Mincino. And then that gives Abra to Garrett. And that is an encounter in the Desert Resort. Um, so I'm going to guess Seal and Abra are probably going to be in the entry area to the Desert Resort, and then Mime Jr. and Mincino will be properly inside where the actual ruin is. Not inside the ruin, but the area where you enter the ruin. And then if everybody's written down their encounters and everything, we can go back to uh, gameplay. Yes. Oh, and I was, uh, I was wrong, by the way. Stop. <laughs> are you... Everybody's good then? Okay. Yeah. Jumping back. Uh, you can get a charcoal. Um, it is in a building on the street to Route 4 uh, on 47, 47th floor. Okay. Um, all right. Wow, that's miserable damage on this fucking dwebble. <sighs> we'll just, yeah, we'll take that off for now, because we have the TM for it. Okay. And then... Oh my god, stop saying attacking me, you stupid bug! You dirty shit. You. I should probably register my bike to one okay. of the keys. And then save a state before I do any of that crazy rare candying shit. Oh, that building is definitely one that you want to hang out in or go and check out because on the first floor you get the amulet coin on the 47th floor there's a tm uh oh a scientist on the first floor gives you the ev light if you've seen 40 different pokemon and the charcoals on the 47th floor a lot of good stuff Oh, wait, it's in the town? It's the Eviolite building? It says Street to Route 4, so I, I'm not sure. Um, I think that's uh, north from the little hub at the top. Yeah, the Eviolite building's within the town. Yeah. The charcoal is also in that building. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Let's uh, buy some more of those. I might have missed that one because it was on the bottom of the list or something. Okay, let's pre-candy save. Go to 24.
Oh, I might not have one. Let's see. Twenty-six. Stop sand attacking me, you stupid bug. Okay, yeah. Definitely want to do that. Write that down. What was the TM from the gym? <laughs> You'll see. Okay. <laughs> You'll like it. Yeah. Let's tackle. No, I'm kidding. Don't surprise me. Some of them are going to be garbage. Garrett, did you find the uh, rare candies in the Pokemart? Yeah, I found them now. Okay. Went in the wrong bug hole. I hate when I go in the wrong bug hole. my bee queen never gotten to use one of these before nice All right, gym battle time and I don't think I want to replace any of the moves either Yeah, I do. Uh, no, I don't. Wait, I think I forgot to heal before I started this battle. That's what caused my first wipe, I'm pretty sure. I'm not greatly injured, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm 6 HP down on Bulbasaur and 4 HP down on Slugma, who should never be used here anyway. Linnaeus. Ouch. Straight into the smackdown. Yeah, there's the leech seed. Now he's fucked. You can see the fear in his little bug stalk eyes. You can recognize the quiver in his rock shell as he sees death coming for him. Something tells me that Dwebbles aren't, aren't really that aware of what's going on. You can see the panic, frantic tapping of those little four claws. Oh, Jesus, the crit. <laughs> oh, God, it heard me talking trash. Ooh. That's interesting. I didn't know that Sweet Scent lowers evasiveness for the whole opposing team. Oh, interesting. Like a, kind of like a field effect or something. Yeah. I thought, like... It was uh, primarily worthless. Wait, does that really mean? Just... Are you saying like for the battle or for a double battle? For a double battle. Okay. 
I was initially thinking the first thing, which sounded very unique and interesting. Yeah, I don't think there's any effects like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so either. But if there was going to be an effect like that, that could be it, because I've never fucking used that move. In any serious capacity, at least. Ah, uh, Death by Leech Seed. A classic. Fucked up by Colrus. Ah, you went for the cut on the swap, eh? That's not what I expected. I suppose that probably makes sense, though, because you don't do shit for damage to me otherwise. Kill! Kill destroy! One hit, please! Leave any dies, bitch! Get out of here! And Hume hits level cap on the kill. Perfect. I cover up my chat. Well, nobody's saying nothing. Eric is just silently watching, judging us. Sacred Man, fire! What? Okay, well shit. <laughs> Slug <Slugman. laughs> get ready. <laughs> get ready, <Yeah>. little boy. <laughs> uh. Okay. Alright. Making my save states. Saving the game proper in case I fuck up my states because of paranoia. Um. Save state there. Save state there. Great. I want to say Vespaquin has pretty good defense too. Cap was 24, right? Yeah. What's that? Uh, yes, it's 24. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. She does have good defense. Quite a bit higher than anything else on my team right now. And she gets rid of Honey Gather and gets Pressure. Pressure the proper can be super good. legendary. Pressure can be very good. Let's figure out which building this is now. Uh, uh. Nah, fuck that shit. Oh, building on the left. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a Shedinja, and then kill it right away, because it's illegal. I do like Ninjask, but I've never really used one effectively. I don't think I've ever used any of that family. Not that I have anything against them, but... Level cap on the next gym is 19, then? 18. 18, I think? Yeah. Oh, it's equal to the... Right. Yep, yep, we did, we did stricter caps to start with. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really hampering you guys. You can feel it. Uh, it's been relevant. It was relevant going into the second gym. Maybe the first? I don't remember. Alright. Evil Light. Let's give that to somebody. Let's give that to Boot Gang. Give 
EXP share to Petalil. Alright. Yay! Bug Evolve 2! Both my bugs are leveled up now. I guess that's a benefit of me having a team full of fucking bugs. They're they're evolving fast. Yeah. Although I think the final stage of the Venipede line is like 30 or something. Because it's only just now evolving to Whirlipede. This, uh, this Magnemite is a little scary. Ooh, a Quink is a little scary too. I really can't, uh... Here's my Sacred Fire that I put on the bee against him. See if somebody else can learn it now. Nope. Alright, let's rethink our strat. What are we coming up on? Resistant. Well, we don't want to use water. <laughs> oh, I could, uh, try to horn drill him. That'd be interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting DM for us to get. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh... Well, I mean, that's, uh, you know, a level... I'm over their levels, so it might work on both of them, but... Yeah. I have too much stuff that uh would be a little scary if it started using it on me. Let's use... Uh, oh, well, there's an idea. And then we can maybe use the Eevee Light as well. Okay. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I can dish the Shedinja before I forget. Yeah. Uh, that's half, but we'll have to deal. Uh, half, but we'll have to deal. No, fuck! I don't want to click this stupid metal fucker! Stop giving me medals! I don't care! Let me get to the PC! No! You're the worst! You're the worst! You're the worst! Metals suck! You're dumb! I hate you! The metal fucker. Just, just fucks his metals. Thinks nobody's watching. What a weirdo. Alright, let's, uh, let's take these leftovers. Oh, no. Let's take the EXP share. Let's give the Eviolite. Where'd the Eevee light go? Oh, I put it on. Okay. Uh, Boom Gang. I'm coming for you. I don't want to use Boom Gang. We'll say Megahorn Spinarak is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. I got uh, Megahorn Ninkata for a while. <laughs> now it's Megahorn Ninja Ask. Right now, Megahorn Ninjask is actually fucking scary, though. Yeah, yeah, that's that's legitimately uh, power. Yeah, that thing could sweep some teams. The biggest problem and is just the miss be... chance is unfortunate. Yeah, aside from missing, but I mean that is the risk that's being taken with having a fast sweeper yep. with a high end stab that gets faster every fucking round definitely gonna slap the uh the lens on him if i get a chance oh god i don't fight you do i you seem to just uh you're just gonna you're just gonna scare me a little bit that might be cool That might be super cool. What the fuck is Colrus's headgear supposed to be? It looks like he just got nailed in the back of that with a frisbee. 
I just had to live with um, it. I think he wants to be Saturn. Uh, Perry? Yes. Is Colrus, uh, he fights you on the, the road? I think so. I seem to have this vague recollection of being like, oh, thank God, I don't have to fight Colrus. And then you go outside and you have to fight Colrus. Yeah, that's no good. Where's that charcoal at? Any of that charcoal? Got that Eevee light. Nice. We can give give her back the, uh, the leftovers. I'm not happy about that weakness, but... Yeah, the interesting thing with getting the Eevee light this early, it's just like, where does it fucking go? <laughs> Everybody can use it. It's just like... Hard to decide. Well, I guess Swello now is uh, done, so he doesn't get it, but... I got on Slugma just because Slugma's so fucking dog shit. And the coverage is really nice for me. So, prop it up with an Eviolite. Ah, shit. Do you fight me? No. Ah, oh, well, I'm not, not confident, but let's grab some more lemonades. There's nothing my character loves more than fucking hauling around 60 drinks in his bag. Doesn't even care if it's milk, which is obviously going to spoil <laughs> before he can drink them all. It's okay. You just shove it down your Pokemon's throat. You don't have to drink it. It's fine. That's true. They don't seem to care. Fight me, bitch. Aw, oh, you're just a tutorial, bitch. Oh, and there's little Colress. Just waiting, just looking. Not that scary, actually, here. Well, I mean, not good. Hey, it's Bianca. Oh, there's the dowsing machine. Oh, I got ahead of you. Oh, shit. Um, I was deliberating for a long time. Well, you were, like, right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like I was particularly far behind. Two trainers. Less because I had the Eevee light and stuff. I had to, I had to sidetrack for the charcoal, but that was the item I had missed. Um, breeder lady. I gotta fight you, right? Yep. Ah, uh, yes, and this is the game where the breeders are grindable. Like, once a day, or what? Every time you enter the route. Oh! Are they any good to fight? Uh, I think so. At least initially. I might do that. Oh my uh, god! I just one shot a wild Trico. With acid spray. It's like starter versus starter wars. Alright, Pika Blue. Linnaeus. And she's gonna have the same Pokemon every time I fight her? Who? That might work for a couple of the uh breeder. Oh the breeder? I think so. Yeah, I don't think they ever change. They get uh which makes them obsolete eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think There's the issue in the Black, white, one was that the only repeatable battles were in that one town. The sports arena and then the uh, Ferris wheel. And so they added breeders as repeatable battles in this one. There's the Mystic Water. Sweet. And then I think there's also a few other daily battles uh, in some other towns. I think you, there's like a 
biker you can fight maybe in like the gym five town i might be mixing that up because there's a bunch of like weird battles you do where they give you those like triple battles is a special thing i think some of them are gonna, repeatable and some of them are just not but... i'm gonna fight these fishermen yeah Bullshit. basculins are uh occasionally scary if you're not uh prepared for them surprisingly so just well, used to what, what's scary about them they're just relatively strong uh, for being a random random ass with... fish Rockhead takedown, shit like that. He avoided my fucking leech seed. That's they can, no good. They can aqua jet you, catch you unawares. No, he head butted me, aqua jetted me, but I'm a grass type, so I don't really care. Yeah. And there's the mystic water. Okay. Oh, you know what? I was. I think it's uh, black white one where the charcoal is like way later in the game mm -hmm. in this game they must have moved it up because we got all three of them now already it was pretty yeah pretty easy to find all three of them there yeah i think the charcoal is like in the bottom of the ruins or something dumb or in the cave or something like gym four or something uh growlith sure uh psyduck and basculin this time are you fighting the cop yeah don't you bite flinch me over and over again, you shit. Okay. Let's just mega drain. So, what do you guys think of Rare Candy Claws so far? You know, it's, it's okay, but I don't mind the grinding. I mean, I think it gives us more time for content and things like that. And I, I feel like this run is going to be very fast compared to past runs because of it yeah it might be so i i don't know it's it's okay but i would think for the the next run maybe not do it all right we can come back to it later too sure my Anything's thought is an option my thought is the grinding is kind of filler but well filler can be good though i mean yeah it gives us time to come up with funny inside jokes and things and well i think they're funny i don't know if you guys do. <laughs> double work up on this hurtier i'm getting a little sweaty here does acid spray kill this i wonder i think it does i think it does i think we can guarantee the kill with acid spray please die you fuck oh thank fuck I had to swap into it because I stumbled into this battle unintentionally without looking it up. Which made me a little nervous. Did you fight Colrus? Not yet. I'm going to him right now. I'm also thinking about going to him, but I'm not quite sure about going to him. Do you have a counter at all for him? Not a good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to rely He's... on uh, Slugma, so I don't know how well that's going to go. He's got uh, moves for, or his uh, electric moves can counter my Vespa Quen, who is the one who has Sacred Fire, and she is mm. very, very slow. Yeah, that's rough. So, Sacred Fire also does have Miss Chance, too. Yeah. I suppose I could uh, do a Calculate on it quick. Are you doing calcs? It's just a magnemite. Why am I afraid of a magnemite? Because mm, it's oh, got spark it has... and magnet bomb and thunder wave. And it has sturdy. Mm, so it does. I missed that. I mean, it doesn't have sturdy. Here, Pliny, this is your uh, opportunity to shine here, little buddy. Flame him. Oh, you, you, no, you don't thunder okay. wave me, you bitch. So it begins. It'll be fine. Oh, 
Walrus uses a super potion on Magnemite. You bitch. Just die. Nobody loves you. Vesp Spark. Oh, Vespaquin can take exactly... Well, it can take a few hits from it. But crits I'm afraid of. Magnapon I'm not afraid oh, of. Oh god, Magnemite. fucking gear grind is uh, sweaty too. Gear grind, what is that? That's a uh, steel type fucking like fury swipes or whatever I think. Oh, It might okay. be better damage too. It's a solid move early game. Let's uh... Oh um, shit! I got the burn on the first grind. Oh my god, that's really good. It actually does way more damage than I was expecting to me. Uh, I think it can kill me if it gets like five in a crit. Wow, I didn't get paralyzed once. I got really fucking lucky there. I'm not sure I needed to get lucky, statistically speaking, but I'm not gonna, not gonna be mad about it. Oh, okay, and then we can... Is there a heal on this route? Yeah, I'll be fine. Rest out. Your grind might kind of suck, but... Yeah, it's just the oh, variance. When it gets the high, high rolls, you just... Yeah. ...can melt. And it's stab, which is a big part of the problem. Well, I think that was the hardest okay. battle since the first gym. Technically. I mean, for me, the first gym was easy because I had facade fucking Halo. <laughs> but, uh... Generally speaking. All right, now to, it was now really to just... a toss-up for me. I mean, I could have easily lost the first gym. I just managed to get away with it. Yeah. It's a tough one. It just, it gets out of control so easily. Which, you know, like a hardcore Nuzlocke especially gets to be really, uh... Questionable. Oh, I forgot about the breeder lady. I suppose maybe I could try to gain an one more level on her, and uh, that would that would give me something cool, actually. I can get Giga Drain. Sit here and spam this vending machine for the next five minutes. Uh, let's let's uh, let's uh, magical. Uh, no, not magical. These let's Mega Drain. Also, high tier that this game remembers your cursor on the vending machine. Oh, yeah. Definitely. For a lemonade slammer like my my boy Bones, uh, that's top notch. Yeah, trying to buy like 20 lemonades and fucking like Gen 3 sucks ass. You have to hit down twice every time you do it. I end up buying just as many fresh waters as lemonades from clicking too many times. End up with a few sodas mixed in too. And then Gen 3, you've got a pretty strict limit on your bag size, if I remember correctly. Not as bad as like Gen 1, but. Fuck. Compared to these later games. Give me uh, that lemonade. Might... I should save some of this for TMs, actually. That's enough, that's enough lemonades. All right, we just might need to get a little tricky here, but we'll uh, we'll gain one more level on her. Ooh, a then wild we'll timber! The somebody. My bitch. Honestly, I hope Slugma gets to go the whole way because. I like Meg Cargo far more than it deserves to be liked. <laughs> I also like Meg Cargo probably far more than it deserves to be liked, but I have a lot of Pokemon that way. Just, uh, I think they they look cool, and I think, would I like to hang out with one of those in real life? 
And the answer is usually yes. Slugma, uh, maybe in winter, it'd be okay to hang out with, but in general, I think it'd be a problem. On account of it being made of lava. Although the novelty would be pretty good. Ooh, intimidate on this herd here, huh? Don't like that. Uh, nice crit, bird. Nice crit. Team Swallow. He's a fine fellow. Ooh, dig. Diggy diggy. That is pretty fucking good in this game. I forgot they, this is the generation where they buffed it, right? To 80? Maybe? Dig? Yeah. It, it is 80 base power in this game. I think it was this generation. It might have been Gen that 4, isn't, but... That isn't a huge buff, though. It was already, like, a 70. 60. Oh. And it's 100 accuracy, right? Yep. I could teach it to Ivysaur, which is really interesting. A digging Venusaur sounds kind of good. That's... Yeah, that's been a thing since Pokemon Stadium. Oh, is it? Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, do you not put your onions in the ground? Sure. Interesting to imagine because uh, the Venusaur is not really doesn't really look like he's built for digging. I suppose you could argue that he's like a frog. He burrows into the mud and then just the plant sticks up. Yep. Honestly, that that'd be pretty cool imagery to see. Question is, if I teach dig to Venusaur, what do I get rid of? Probably the poison move, honestly. Oh, got Assurance. Oh, okay. <sighs> maybe Assurance isn't the move I was thinking of. Or maybe Sandile's attack is just dog shit. You take that back. He's Although, another one I would hang out with in real life. Oh, yeah. No. He's a cute little bastard. Probably like one of the top five evolutionary lines in Gen 5, I would think. Just style-wise. This, the Pokemon designs in this generation in particular, I think, have grown on me a lot compared to other generations. Overall. Alright, let's, uh... Oh yeah, I was gonna check Ivysaur's stats. We are giga-draining. Uh, Ivysaur's got minus attack, actually. Which makes Acid Spray kind of preferable 36 attack versus 49 special attack acid sprays is only special move i don't think i want dig or if i give him dig i think it goes in place of like fucking razor leaf which doesn't seem right unless i get rid of sleep powder which also just doesn't feel right well i think we'll save it for sand true because i drafted him right yeah i did other biker boy. Biker, biker, biker. Darumaka biker? Yeah, they have some tough fire mons usually. And, uh, like coughings and wheezings and shit. Uh, Darumaka makes me sweat a little bit. He has. He's not as scary as his big brother that fucked my last run up, but. Not to be underestimated. What did Darmanitan do to you? Uh, that's what wiped me. <laughs> the fucking... Oh. <laughs> the Belly Drum Darmanitan event. Oh, right. Lost me the entire previous season in one swoop. In the Victory Road. I forgot he belly drummed. Yeah, uh... And my whole team was slower than him, and I just fucking auto-lost. Uh, it's not gonna happen this time with Swallow. All right, I'm going to go fight Colrus. And before I do that, I'm going to put... Uh, what's the next gym? Electric. I'm going to put... Uh, I guess on him. No. No, that's dumb. 
schmick. I am just not exactly set up for electric, but it's fine. Fight me, you fuck. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting with the limited mon count because we're going to run into different battles that are like much more difficult for, for our own specific teams than other people. Yeah, there's a good chance we're not going to end up with coverage for everything. Yeah, I really like what the teams look like at this stage. I liked how this limited pools turned out. I'm cool with being a grass and bug and water boy. If we do something like this in the future, we could also do a ban list of gimmick mods. That way we don't get people stuck with like Smeargle and shit. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that Up going into guys. this, but... I'm open to... I think it's, it's interesting to have them, personally. There's a lot more work to put towards it. No, it's not. Like, if you're talking about in terms of, like, generating the list or, like, coding it, it doesn't even need coding. I have it set up so that you can just implement mon by mon bans already. Well, no, I know, but what do you... What do you exclude? Like, we'd have to go through 500, 600 Pokemon and say, all right, this one's out, this one's out. I think it'd be like, pretty easy to, like... Pick the obvious ones. Chatot, Smeargle. Like, for every one that you remember, though, we forget one, and then you get into a draft, and you're like, oh, yeah. yeah like, you we just, probably should get that one. We just spend ten minutes going through the Pokedex together or something. I don't think it'd be that bad. What is you guys game? better not ban my boy Chatot. And there's the other problem, well, because <laughs> some people actually like some of the gimmick Pokemon, then yeah. you ban something that somebody would legitimately pick. That's probably the bigger issue with it, for sure, but... Well, and that's why, like, if you're going through the Pokedex, then you bring that up. Hey, I actually like that one, so let's leave it in. All opinions will be considered. We can do uh, two votes to remove or something, or... You get one veto, I don't know, something like that. Again, this is just making it so much more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah, but I like complicated. <laughs> I'm having fun. Yeah. I think it's I think we should always change the rules, at least in some ways every season, because I think that makes it interesting. Um Here we go, Colrest. Let's uh let's leech seed him. What you avoided it is on though? We're going up to four. We're done with three. We just finished three. Okay. Magnet bomb. That didn't do very much. Paralyzed. And you still get that turbo sucks. mode. Magnet bomb. Doubly so if you're in Pokestar Studios, because fuck that place. There's the fucking leech seed. No, it's. Uh, oh my god, I shouldn't have. even bother trying to cure my paralysis because he'll just do it again kill the bird ah, please slugma kill him I'm begging you please slugma don't hurt him okay there's the burn hammer that's a good name MC hammer I'll have to remember that for my next mom Good name for a fight. All right, type. Magnemite is down. Well, now does this uh, stupid? Okay, he doesn't have Thunder Wave, but I'm not sure it's even worth it to uh, cure my paralysis. I can't cure my paralysis anyway. Oh yeah, I can. Little slugma that could, with the help yeah, of a potion. Cure my, cure my paralysis. Here's that gear grind. Jesus, he crit with it. We said no time getting spooky, huh? Yeah. Okay, two more bikers. There's a bunch of fucking bikers back here. Drink a melonade. No use charge. Oh, double battle with grass types. Interesting. Let's put him to sleep. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> I tried. 
Oh my god, he crit again with the stupid thing. Well, let's heal again. A Pikachu! Pika Pika! Pikachu. He has crit once every single time with this fucking gear grind. Damn. That's fine. I'll just I'll let a random trainer battle. Just wipe my team. I want to get at least one leech seed off. You're having Don't like crit, no. the, like the opposite of my RNG. Let's uh. Does leech seed have like really terrible accuracy or something? It's only like ninety. It's not no. that bad. It's missed like three times on me. What are you trying to hit with it? Uh, steel type? Is that bad? No, I think that one's fine, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't hit grass types. I think that's Okay, it, it worked now. And I avoided his gear grind this time. Much better. Alright, let's start giga draining him. Don't slow my speed, you bitch. I'm still probably gonna outspeed you because my speed's gonna go back up. Haha, -ha, fucker. We'll fuck with Kirby. At least now that the leech seed is out, I feel a little better about having to heal him because of these stupid crits. Should be the timber, right? Does the timber have rock moves? I think so. Level 17 timber has. There we go. Got the sleep powder on. Motherfucker does have rock throw. What the fuck? Why? Why you gotta be so scary? Run, my bug. You will die to a rock throw. Here it is. All right, I can switch out. Hopefully he doesn't wake up right away. Well, no, I can't do that. Uh, yeah, what's the sleep mechanics in this generation? Is it one to three turns in Gen 5? That's something I should know, because um, I have sleep. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to try to switch out, though. If Yeah, I think it is one, one to three, which means the only guarantee to switch if you go second on the sleep. All right, he didn't wake up. So that's good. I should be able to get the sacred fire off. And I got the sacred fire off. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Okay, it's just a Trico. The second fight. Unless I miss every attack. Kirby, I need you to hit him. Good job, Kerbs. Damn it. Yeah, that was worth getting. That was my pedal ill. I was doing that almost that entire fight with. <laughs> pedal ill with an Eviolite. Nice. It works. Yeah. Worked out for me. I do need my leaf stone or sunstone or whatever the hell stone it is. I think that's coming up very soon, actually. Um, might be. I don't remember where they are. Just kill the Pikachu. Okay, just quick attacks. That's fine. No worries. We'll get paralyzed, maybe. Nimbasa City, or, or 
Relic Castle. Mombasa City is the next city, so... Okay. Alright. Melanines I wasted there. Some sort of fucking police officer. Some sort of fucking pig. Fight me, you bitch. They've never, like, had a police officer trainer and gave him, like, a tepig and spoink and things like that, have they? I don't know. What? Not that I'm aware of. That these these ones all have enemy. dog teams. That's their theme in this game. Usually, yeah, they have Growlithe. Growlithe's real lose and hurt Gen yours. 1. Yeah. I always thought the Gen 1 cop trainer was a cool trainer design. It's interesting in Gen 4 where they only attack you at night or whatever. But also, why do they only attack you at night? <laughs> Because I think they were supposed to be more like security guards then. Yeah. So, and so their they only weren't. line of defense for doing their job is a, a single Growlithe or whatever, or then they get defeated by a tiny child and they're like, oh, there's nothing I can do. Well, here's my, here's my gun. For attacking a child in the first place. Take my gun. You're, also, my badge. Uh, you're not trying to do anything. You're just a small child. Right, but why like, are they fighting you? Kind of, for practice, I think a lot of them say. Ah, that... If they do say that, uh, I would have to, one, listen to dialogue to know that. Two, it would yep. make a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of them, much like other workers in the games, will just say, like, hey. Well, sometimes they kind of pull a stop and frisk on you because they want to know what you're doing. So it's more <laughs> like a halt, you go there, let's fight. He wants to fight you, that way he can stick around behind you and plant drugs in your pocket. <laughs> I guess. But then other ones will fly. I'm pretty sure will sometimes say things like, uh, you know, it's all it's boring being on on watch all night. Let's have a battle. Mm. I think that's honestly anybody that's like an adult in this game, in these games that isn't a active trainer of some sort, usually will throw things like boredom out there as a reason to fight. Rich guys fight because they're rich and they have everything they could ever want so they want to fight oh i mean uh, rich see. guys love dog fighting yep well some of them also believe that if you meet eyes with another pokemon trainer that is the bond of destiny and you must fight no matter if you want to or not yeah that's usually for like the trainer trainers like the black belts and the aces and the kids and things mm -hmm. like that these houses are worth checking out All right, and then I ran into the breeder lady again. I gotta stop Jeez. running into her. Do, do, do. The houses are worth checking out, you said? Uh, supposed to be. Get a bright powder in one of them, apparently. Yeah, there's some decent held items. Just wasn't clear which house was which. So the first one I went to appears to have just been trash. Well then, just run into all of them. What was the best value healing item of the vendor ones? Uh, oh, lemonade. Lemonade is. Pretty sure it's lemonade. Yeah. I think it honestly yeah. comes down to like, yeah, lemonade's the best in terms of like general stats, but you're not usually going to need an 80 heal at this point in the game. No. Which makes fresh waters probably better because they're 50 healing. All three of the tiers are better than the equivalent potions. I usually just oh, get yeah. a mixture of like fresh waters and lemonades. Fresh waters to top off a lemonade for the big heals. Usually skip soda pops. At least that's how I do it. Yeah, are they, are they 10 or 5 interval? I guess they'd be have to be 10 or 15 um, or something. Fresh waters are super potions, so they're 50. Lemonade's 80, so I think soda pop is 
60 or 60, 70. 60 or 65, probably. Yeah, maybe it is just 65. I feel like it's 60. I think it goes 50, 60, 80 for no fucking reason, but I might be wrong. And then Moo Moo Milk's 100. No, oh, this is apparently uh, not correct, or it's uh, maybe white 2 only that has that, but I got a wide lens instead of the bright powder. Yeah, I got the wide lens here. Is Wide lens is just general hit. What am I thinking of that makes you slower? Is that the zoom lens? Must be. Maybe. Uh, wide lens is pretty high tier with a uh, little friend named Kirby, the nin 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 Ninjask. That's it. Is that a heightened crit rate? Accuracy. Oh. Oh, and I remember that it's 10% of the move's accuracy. So it's plus 8.5% on a, a mega horn. Which means that if you put it on something with 90% accuracy, it becomes 99% accuracy, and you get fucked over by 1% misses. Because Pokemon be like that. We also should be about time for a break now, oh, right? Oh, absolutely, yep. We're just about a minute past. Uh, is everybody good to take a break? Uh, yes. All right, then we'll end right here. Till next time, everybody.